Hello Scorpio, welcome to Intuitive Gems. My name is Desiree and I will be doing your money, wealth, finance, prosperity, abundance reading for the month of September 2021. I hope you all are having a good month depending on whenever you watch this. I know we're moving into fall and that's my favorite, absolute favorite season in the year. Um, for the readings this month, I will be using my white tarot deck. I will clarify with my radiant Rider weight tarot, and then I will end your reading Scorpio with a work your light oracle card. It's a very pretty deck that I'm working with this month. So, uh, let's go ahead and get right into the reading. Now, if this is your first time catching one of my readings, I do want to say welcome and I invite you to subscribe because I do these readings each and every month and I would love to share your money message with you. Okay. Looking good so far, Scorpio. So what do we need to know for the sign of Scorpio? As it relates to money, wealth, finances, prosperity, and abundance for the month of September. Whoa. September 2021. What do we need to know for the sign of Scorpio? Okay. So you saw I had a little bit of a sloppy shuffle there towards the end. Um... Usually when that happens, it means that sometimes the energy could be a little shop, you know, sloppy and <laughs> maybe a little uh, all over the place. But let's go ahead and get these cards here. So as we move into September, Scorpio, all I can say is that things are going to happen quickly. Um, if things have been a little slow moving the past month for you, um, just know that, that timing is really going to be on your side and i can say that by the eight of wands here the eight of wands is a card of timing speed swiftness um, things moving sometimes not only on schedule but ahead of schedule so like i said timing's really going to be on your side especially with anything financial or money related as we move into the new month of september now we also have this moon card here now the moon card is always a ambiguous card in the sense that it means there's something that is being um, hidden, concealed. Um, sometimes it's not deliberately being kept from us, but there's something that you don't know. And when there's something that you don't know, especially money related, you want to move with caution. Okay, so we have time on our side, but remember, we may not have all the details. And so we have to pay attention to that because um, you know, we don't want to make uninformed decisions. Next, we have the Ten of Swords in the reverse that is healing from uh, a situation that was probably emotionally heavy. Again, there is a money connection to that. Maybe a relationship, maybe a, a personal type of connection thing. Maybe it could be something that was related to your work. But just know that uh, emotionally you are overcoming a lot of things and that's definitely going to unlock some financial flow for you. We also have the Queen of Wands. The Queen of Wands, I've been seeing this a lot. This is a card of changes in the workplace, like physical changes or uh, tangible changes, meaning, you know, it uh, could be like a change in office settings, surroundings, your environment. Sometimes it could also mean a change in staffing, or it could mean a change in location. It could mean a change in, um, you know, operations or the structure of what you do. Just know that this is good when she shows up in the upright position, the Queen of Wands. You know, she's a very um, stable, grounded, um, pretty much routine kind of energy. So there's not really any surprises. I mean, the changes are going to be different, but it's going to be something where, you know, we kind of all saw this coming. Again, this is something related to your work because the wands are really work energy. So regardless of, 
you know, no matter what you do, if you're an employee, if you're a business owner, if you're retired, if you're a student, um, just know that whatever you do kind of every day as your quote job, there's going to be some changes in there and they'll probably start showing up in the first week of September. Next, we have the Four of Wands. Four of Wands is a, another stability card. Uh, this is a card of foundation. This is also the card of, you know, uh, legal things coming together. Now, this is also the marriage card, but since we're not focusing on relationships, uh, this could be a marriage in a different way. Maybe, you know, um, solidifying some contracts that could be work or money financial related, investment related. It could also mean the groundwork is being laid for something new, a new business. You know, if you purchased maybe some, or maybe you're renting some new office space or, um, you know, things of that nature. Next, we have the Four of Cups. The Four of Cups means that there's going to be a lot of opportunities and things showing up for you, Scorpio, but they may not all resonate. So be very uh, discerning with what shows up because there's going to be several uh, probably proposals or offers made and you probably will not jive with all of them even though there will be a financial benefit to it um, you know sometimes you don't want to take an extra job or an extra responsibility even when it pays because what you have to sacrifice in order to accept that may not be worth it. In other words, your timing, uh, the commute could be a headache. Um, it could be having to deal with people you don't want to deal with, you know, so uh, make sure you weigh all the options if any type of new jobs or new offers show up for you. Finally, we have the Eight of Cups. Now, this is a fun card sometimes because it means you finally kind of just walk away from something that is not uh, serving you something that's just not working now I've been doing some private readings that um, I want to say like well I did a private reading at a group event and this card came up a lot and the thing that's coming through with this is the um, great resignation you know a lot of people are leaving their jobs you know, for a variety of reasons, um, a lot of us just know that where we have been working, where we have been exchanging our time for dollars is not where we want to be, um, not now or in the future. And so this has been a very common thread. And I just want to say that for those of you who feel that it's time, um, you're getting confirmation that it probably is the right thing to do. Now, of course, I would never tell anybody to just up and quit their job. But if you're in a position to where that is a feasible option, um, now could be a good time to do that. But again, you know, you have to make sure you're prepared. And uh, it looks like for some of you, I see that happening probably in the month of September at some point. Uh, and if it doesn't happen, a lot of you are going to be considering it. All right, Scorpio, let's see what else shows up for you as it relates to money, wealth, finances, prosperity, and abundance. Whoa. Okay, for the month of September 2021. What do we need to know for the sign of Scorpio? All right, so Scorpio, as we move into the second week of September, you have um, someone that genuinely cares about you, and I'm feeling like this is a male here, and I'm also feeling like this is a male here. This one, I'm more so feeling like this is the energy of the card. This one, I'm feeling like it's a specific person. Uh, the King of Cups is a emotionally stable card. It's a card where uh, feelings are very much communicated in a way that is supportive, loving, helpful, genuine, all those things. So Scorpio, I feel like there is going to be a male who is very caring that shows up for you. Uh, not so much in a financially beneficial way, although that could be, but there's also there's some uh, support there. There's some assistance there that he um, 
gives you that's going to help you in your financial circumstances. Now, this could be a relative, could be a friend, could be a spouse, partner, whatever. Um, but there is someone, a male, who cares very deeply for you, Scorpio, who does want to see you um, succeed. And they're willing to kind of put themselves out there in order to help you. Now, this could even be a mentor, but there's someone who has genuine care for you and someone who is really concerned about your well-being. And that support really helps you uh, make more money, start your business, uh, maybe get through a tough time, you know, whatever the case may be, you definitely have somebody showing up in your favor. Next, we have the Empress card. The Empress card means that something that is planted doesn't quite fully come to fruition just yet. Doesn't mean it's not happening, but you know, sometimes we have to be a little bit of a little bit more patient, especially when it comes to money issues. Okay, so the Empress. Um, she is the divine feminine when she shows up in the reverse. Sometimes um, her femininity, femininity or her feminine energy uh, doesn't necessarily always serve. Remember, there's always that balance between the masculine and the feminine. And when we're talking about money, sometimes we have to uh, tap into certain aspects of each energy depending on the situation or the circumstances that we're in. So I'm feeling like with this Empress card, it just means that there's something that was started and for some reason it's not progressing, it's not moving forward, but I have a feeling this, this is probably a timing thing. Either you don't have what you need because you're waiting for it or uh, maybe the time is just not right and you've decided to take a step back. It's one of those types of situations. Again, there is a financial tie to that. Now we have the tower card. I love seeing this card in the reverse because that is the rebuild, restructuring of whatever. Finances, money, business, um, investments, whatever. Uh, the tower in the reverse talks about you know dismantling something and then bringing it back together in a much stronger, bigger, better way. So don't be afraid of when things look like they're falling apart. Sometimes you have to kind of let that happen. So you can clean up the mess, so you can take out what's not working, so you can bring in some new energy, some new ideas, okay? So things probably will feel a little chaotic in the process, but just know that when all is said and done, it's definitely going to propel you financially in some way. We also have the hangman, another card I like to see in the reverse because that is a card of not being stagnant, of not feeling stuck, of moving forward in a very... I want to say a deliberate way. And that's definitely going to serve you when you're trying to make more money or grow a business or do any of those things. So just know that you do have movement uh, showing up for you as we move into this second week of September. And don't be afraid of it, okay? It may feel a little scary because it's unfamiliar, but you know, it is that momentum that you want to embrace. Next, we have the Emperor. The Emperor in the reverse is the control card. Um, now, control is always good to a certain degree. However, sometimes things can either be a little out of control or they could be a little bit uh, too controlling, you know, where things are just micromanaged and it's not fun. The emperor tells me that one or the other is coming into play here. Now, as it relates to your money, we have to see, is there something that's out of control? Is there some spending that's out of control? Or are we being super, super tight and we're not putting our money where it needs to, to go in order to grow or to uh, make repairs or to invest, whatever the case may be. So really examine your money situation and is there some place where you're, you know, either spending too much or you're not spending enough when clearly something needs to be <laughs> invested in. And the thing that comes to mind is repairs, you know. Do you need to get your car fixed? Do you need to buy some new uh, office equipment so you can work more efficiently? You know, really examine that, okay? Finally, we have the King of Swords. Now, like I said, I'm feeling this is more of the energy. This one isn't specifically a person. The King of Swords is a very, um, I want to say deliberate, sometimes um, short-tempered, uh, cutting away of something. Now, it's also um, a very strong elimination energy. 
And I'm not surprised it fell next to this emperor card because these two could be related here. Is there something that needs to be cut off with no excuses? Is there something that needs to be removed um, very quickly and very swiftly? Now it also fell onto this eight of cups. Remember that's walking away from something that's no longer serving you. Do you need to cut off a specific job? Do you need to cut off a relationship? Um, like I said, I'm not surprised these two cards I'm feeling are connected. Uh, there's something that deliberately needs to be stopped or something that deliberately needs to be walked away from Scorpio. And again, this is going to give you some financial wiggle room, some financial benefit. Uh, it could even be uh, something that helps your money to grow or helps your business or your investments to grow. So pay attention to the energy, you know, pay attention to how you're feeling. Uh, you'll know when is the right time to make specific moves for you. Okay, Scorpio, let's see what else shows up for you as it relates to... Money, wealth, finances, prosperity, and abundance for the month of September 2021. All right, Scorpio. Let's see. Um... Okay, as we move into the second half of September, you're going to be very busy with work. You're also going to uh, be dealing with some, I want to say, is it self-improvement or maybe self-discipline? Um, that's going to come into play here. There's some habits that need to be worked on. There's some things that need to be, um, maybe some anxiety or some feelings that need to be addressed or need to be felt so they can be released. Um, there's also going to be some issues with some um, self-limiting beliefs, having some self-doubts, okay? So I say that because I see the Eight of Swords and Nine of Swords here, and then I also see this Two of Cups. So I'm feeling like it's going to be a uh, it's like gonna. It's like when you kind of have a sit down with yourself, and you're like, "Hey, you know, I really want this. I really want a new job. I really want my business to succeed, and I have to figure out: Am I getting in my own way? It's almost like you just have this reality check for yourself, and you really break down. Okay, what am I doing that's holding me back? Am I procrastinating somewhere? Am I? Uh, not investing in my business when I should be? Am I not educating myself about certain things that I need to be educated and informed about? Um, it's almost like where, you know, your success, it's like you're holding yourself back and you come into that realization. And um, you actually, you know, do figure things out. I can tell you that by these two cards here. But here we have a repeater. Four of Cups. Uh, remember we saw him here. So again, there's going to be a lot coming at you in the month of September, Scorpio. Not all of it's going to resonate and not all of it is even going to be interesting or even profitable for you. So just, again, be very, very discerning because it looks like more opportunities will be showing up in the second half of the month. I talked about the self-discipline, self-awareness really coming into the um, understanding that we have to change our thought patterns and change our behaviors in order to achieve some new things in order to bring us the results that we want next we have the king of wands in reverse now this is interesting because this is um people like higher ups you know could be your boss could be people in your community people you know uh in your school whatever um, are looking at you, but they're not acknowledging what it is you do, right? So it's like maybe you you got a big sale or something and, and your boss doesn't even acknowledge it, you know, and it was something pretty substantial. So this is you kind of not being acknowledged by the people who should be acknowledging you or, you know, people not paying attention and they should be paying attention to you. Usually this is something in the workplace. 
it's not necessarily not getting credit, but it's not getting that validation from certain people in the professional setting when clearly you are either entitled or deserving of that acknowledgement. And again, that could be a reason why it's time to kind of walk away. Is it time to kind of move in a different direction? Uh, whatever the case may be, though, uh, you are going to be very, very busy, Scorpio. We've got the Eight of Pentacles. This is the card of working and work coming in very quickly. Also, the Justice card, Justice Upright, is a decision being made in your favor. So don't feel uh, too discouraged because you're not getting the acknowledgement that you deserve. Uh, the thing is, it it just, I'm getting very strongly let, that the signal is to, it's time to make a change. And I'm feeling like that's kind of a recurring theme here with this reading for you, Scorpio, is that it could be time to make a change, you know? Uh, we talked about whether it could be in the job or it could be something else, but it just, intuitively, I'm feeling like, like you already know this. And you know it's time to make a change. It's just figuring out what that change is going to be and what your next steps are going to be. All right, Scorpio, let's see what else shows up for you as it relates to money, wealth, finances, prosperity, and abundance. For the month of September 2021. All right, so we got another repeater here. You're definitely going to be moving away from something with no regrets and no hesitation, Scorpio. All right, so we got the world card in the reverse. That means something is unfinished, something is not completed. It also could mean some travel for some of you, although I'm not picking up that, but that doesn't mean it could not apply to a few of you out there. Um, the world card, though, really means that the cycle is not complete. It means that something is still undone and something has to be, um, something has to be addressed before you move into that next phase or that next step or that next, you know, uh, cycle. So, um, Again, because we are talking about money, we are talking about finances, pay attention to what is not done, what is undone. And whatever that is, make sure you pay attention and get it done. I mean, I know I am dealing with this myself. I have some <laughs> books that need to be finished being written. I have some, you know, courses that need to be completed. You know, I just, trust me, I'm, I'm in the same boat, Scorpio, but uh, I say that to say that this is showing me and showing you that whatever it is, we need to finish what we start. Next, we have the Seven of Pentacles. I see this card when people are looking for other opportunities, right? Like there's things that show up or things that get presented to us, but also uh, because you need something new and you need a new, you know, a new challenge or a new um, layer of growth. Uh, you start looking for something new, and I have a feeling that is going to be the case. You're going to start looking for new jobs, looking for new uh, investments, looking for maybe uh, some new ways to do your business, okay? Maybe even looking for some uh, new methods of studying in school if you are a student. So, you know, just understand that uh, I don't want to say you're bored, but I do, I do want to say that you are interested in a new challenge uh, next we have the ace of pentacles ace of pentacles this is the card of enterprise for those of you who are looking to start a business or who are launching a business uh, looks like this last uh, week in september probably won't be um like things probably will start but there could be some delays some hiccups maybe some bumps in the road, okay? But don't be alarmed, okay? Because no matter what business you start or anything, really, usually there's some things that have to be kind of fixed or dealt with along the way. So I'm feeling like there's probably going to be some hiccups there for some of you. 
But again, it's not anything to worry about. I can see by the remainder of the cards here. Uh, there might be a little bit of disappointment, maybe just because you're so ready to, you know, move to this new thing or start this new thing. Uh, but there will be a little bit of disappointment, but at the same time, it's not going to be anything that's going to, um, you know, take you off track or be too much of a distraction. We talked about the Eight of Cups. Like I said, I do feel this card is right in alignment with, with where we saw it the first time. Uh, definitely Scorpio a lot of you I think are going to be moving into something new if you're not quitting a job <laughs> um, I I will be very surprised um, now I understand that's not going to apply to everybody but I do think a lot of you are going to be um, you know saying forget this you know I can do something better or I have something else I'd rather do you know we only have this one life I'm not going to waste it being miserable at a job that's not fulfilling or in a situation that is very draining finally you got the nine of cups uh, this is a very good card it's the wish card now in my readings it doesn't matter if this is upright or reverse it's still a very positive card it means your wishes are coming to fruition when it shows up in the reverse that just means to a lesser degree or maybe it may take a little bit longer but you're going to start seeing signs of whatever it is that you're wishing, hoping, wanting, or you're going to start seeing signs of that come together for you by the end of September. So Scorpio, you've got a month of change here. I, I can't say it enough. I do feel like there's some big changes coming for you in your professional and your financial, uh, you know, life situation. There's just going to be a lot of change. You know, there's just going to be a lot of things a lot of things just being done differently, but in a much more satisfactory way for you. Okay, so let's go ahead and close out your reading with the Work Your Light Oracle card, Scorpio. This is the Council of Light card, Divine Orchestration. Yes, helpers in the subtle realms. Well, I think that's the perfect card for your reading. We already know that there is one helper showing up for you in the physical realm, but it looks like you're going to be getting support in other realms as well, for those of you who resonate with that. All right, Scorpio, I hope you enjoyed this reading. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, please drop them down below. Thank you so much for spending this time with me. We'll do it all again next month.